So I'm just making up quite a vibrant blue, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue. And that's going to be for the background waters. And as I said, I want this to be quite a loose um, painting, so I don't want to put too much detail. Just add a little bit of that shadowy foam where it's sitting on the very top peak of that wave. If I wanted to make this area actually go back further in the painting, I would then just add some more of the sky colour to these mixes. So I'm just positioning the brush stroke, laying on the paint, just to create the impression of rocks and surfaces that are facing the sun and some surfaces that are facing away from the sun in shadow. So as I paint the top of this wave, just as it's slightly breaking, you see how it, it actually brings and differentiates that wave from the, the mid-ground water and really makes it feel like it's coming forward in the painting. And I think with this purple colour that I've got with the shadows, I may have to lighten that and blue it a little bit looks a little bit too dark to me at the moment now. And I'm also seriously thinking about using a richer colour on that sand so that it separates the wave off again. And not every area requires the little dots to be really distinct. On some areas you can just blend them slightly with a brush. Otherwise everything gets a little bit too samey, which is boring for the viewer to look at them, boring for their eye. And you can see you can put a brush stroke down and then just lightly go under it just to, just to soften that edge. So you've got a hard edge on the top and then a soft edge on the bottom, where the bottom is slightly in shadow. Hope you've enjoyed my video. If so, you may like to subscribe. That way you'll never miss out on any of my new videos. There's also loads of tutorials, full length videos, demonstrations over on my website, jasonmorgan.co.uk. See you all again soon.